All right, to graph and shade this inequality, we should end up with the V graph. I know this because uh, this is an absolute v -v value function. V, v value has a V and so does its graph. So let's find the vertex of this V shaped value function. Uh, if we set the, just what's inside the absolute value bar is equal to zero, we get an x value of five. And then we look for the constant term off by itself. That's negative three. That will also be the y coordinate of our vertex. There's our vertex. Now, if it weren't for this two out front, we would just be, well, this graph is opening up because we have a positive number in front of the absolute value quantity. And if it weren't for the two, we'd just go up one over one, up one over one. Because there's a two there, we have a steeper slope. We want to go up two over one, up two over one, and so on. Same thing as we go off to the left because this V is going to be symmetric. Our borderline should be dashed because we have only a less than sign, not a less than equal to sign. And finally, we just have to figure out where to shade. It's either going to be outside the V or inside the V. Uh, you can use really any ordered pair that's not on the boundary line as a test point. So I'm going to use the origin, 0, 0. Uh, and I'm going to plug those coordinates into the inequality. So instead of y is less than, I now have 0 is less than. 2 quantity, or 2 absolute value, 0 minus 5, and then minus 3. Just got to figure out if that's true or false. Uh, this is 2 times... Let's see, negative 5 inside the bars comes out as 5 when you actually take the absolute value. This will end up with 0 is less than 7. That's a true statement. So since we used a test point outside the V and got a true statement as a result, we should shade all the stuff outside the V for our solution.